So, I'm going to fix this Samsung Chromebook, um, which, what is it, a Chromebook XE30C12, UK version, but they're all the same. Um, it's got a broken screen, basically. Um, I think you can see there <laughs> some nice marks. Very lovely. I guess somebody sat on it or something. That's a problem. Oof, we go, shut it down. It tends to switch on, especially if you touch the wrong buttons. <coughs> but what can you do about it? Um, basically, the screen needs to be replaced. Um, in principle, it's easy. In practice, it's a little problematic, to say the least. You've got to get this bezel off, and all you do is peel it off this bit. Rubbish, really. I think there'd be some proper fixing, but no, it's just clipped on. And it comes away with some frightening amount of bending, and this is coming away here. It's really flimsy. Look at that. I mean, the, the Chromebooks are really nice machines, honestly, when they're working, they're brilliant. But the construction, well, it's not really meant to be taken apart too much, obviously. There we go. Um, now, to get this screen off, which is this black bit, plus this tape, which is covering some circuit boards and stuff, you need one Phillips-style screwdriver. I don't know if the camera will focus on that, but it's the sort with the cross thread at the top. Small one, because you've got these four tiny little screws here to remove. So let's just do that and see how it goes, basically. One. Two, three, four, in but it's not out either. I wonder if it will just peel away anyway if it's not being touched very firmly. And it needs that out. I can't see why it's not coming out. This is all supposed to go smoothly of course but uh, you know how real life is. <coughs> Nothing goes according to plan. What is it that Bob Mice and Men, John Spotlight Neck, really good book, but I'm told I haven't read it. <laughs> for a tiny spanner. Oh, I'm stopping it then. Okay, right, got there. 
brassy thing is in place. Check where I put my glasses. I'll look at that in a minute. But the screen has come off as you can see. And it's held on with this little cable here, which has a little handle on it. So we can just pull that out. And away it comes. It's a very, very, very tiny connector there. I don't, again, I don't know if the camera can focus on it, but it things slot into this hole in the bottom of it. And there's the old screen, which is broken, so put that on the floor or something. I have here a new screen, brand new from China. The only place in the world where people can make things anymore, it seems. Um, I wanted to just have a look at this brassy thing. Is it held in, in place? Well, it's there, but there's probably not much point screwing anything into it. I suppose it was supposed to it be attached to the, to the rest of the machine, but it isn't. The other three are okay, though. Well, we'll see. First of all, um, plug this in. Another difficult task because it's tiny and it's all taped up here, so it's movement is restricted as well. Let's see. My hand is probably in your way there now, sorry. But need a bit of delicacy here. Theory, we should just get these bits of tapes off, which are holding the screen protector in place. It's going to come away so to get rid of it. In theory, it should just sit there, and everything should be wonderful. And the difference between theory and practice is that in theory, everything should work. In practice, it doesn't because, I can see it already, these four screw holes are not over, or the, the holes in this frame are not over the holes in the laptop. And it's resting there, it can't go down any lower, I think. Can it? No, it can't. It's, it's got to be be held in place after all, it's got to sit right in this, these little metal corners here, which, so it, it, it can't be screwed in, which is marvellous, isn't it? Just to see if anything's in the way, but I don't think it is, honestly. China. See when they used to make things in Germany, they were made pre with precision. Here they're just made for about two p each and sent. Well, it's not possible to screw that in. Maybe a little dob dab of super glue or something would hold it in place. But actually, um, I think if I just place the bezel back on, it'll be fine because this is clipped pretty firmly unless you make an effort to peel it off. I'm going to just try putting it back on like that, and the screws will never go in those holes. So let's see how it goes. I don't know. Honestly. The manufacturing quality. I've, I've used these machines. They're very, very nice, really. Um, but one could look at the construction quality just a bit for, for it. I suppose it's true of all of them these days, they're all made 
flimsiest materials. So you can just go around the edge, make sure it's all clipped in all the way around. And this, I am sure, will hold the screen in perfectly well. I'm just going to close it, see if the screen falls out. I suppose it hasn't. Let's open it and see if we've got a working Chromebook. We have. How about that? Marvellous. All ready to go. No network and that's all wireless well. We'll sort that out whenever. That is how you fix a Chromebook in real life. Where nothing actually worked. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's working, it's not going to fall out, this, this bezel is quite solidly clipped on, you don't need these screws, I, I, I will probably put a little dab of super glue in there just to be on the safe side, but it's, it's, uh, it's pretty firm anyway, and one problem with super glue of course is that if you do that, um, you then can't take it out if it gets broken again. Okay, hope you found that a bit helpful or helpful. And